It started with a cryptic newspaper ad on Friday of last week. It led to us knowing that Swatch and Blanc Palm were collaborating for the follow-up to Moon Swatch, and now it's here. I'm holding in my hand here in New York City the Blanc Palm Swatch Scuba 50 Fathoms. What Swatch is unofficially calling the Scuba 50, what we might call the Blanc Swatch or the Swatch Pawn. But what it is, is Swatch's take in bioceramic, in the same mold as the Moon Swatch, a fun take on a classic dive watch. Now, you might be asking yourself, did Swatch really take a Blanc Pawn and make a quartz watch out of it in bioceramic? Before you get too up in arms about it, know that they did not, because the number one rule at Blanc Pond, as you know, roll the clip. There has never been the Blanc Pond in quartz, and there will never be one. And so what we have here is a System 51 Blanc Pond swatch. The watch is 42.3 millimeters in diameter. It's 14.4 millimeters thick with a 48 millimeter lug to lug distance. And the really interesting thing here, it's one of those small details. There are drilled lugs on this watch. It is attached to a NATO style strap that is crafted from recycled fishing nets. And attached to the strap is a buckle that is signed 50 fathoms. And there's small details that really make this watch kind of sing more in a premium fashion than the Moon Swatch. So what you have here is a 120 click rotating bezel with some actually very solid action for a watch that you'd think would probably have lesser quality. So you have applied markers across the board here, uh, especially on the blue model we're looking at, you have 12, three, six, and nine markers, as well as sort of like a smoke, almost fume style dial that goes from a dark blue at the edges to a lighter blue at the center. And you have the classic Blanc Pond logo, the classic Swatch logo, the 50 Fathoms script text, the Swatch scuba emblem, and the 91 meters of water resistance. Uh, and that's important because it is exactly 50 fathoms. The System 51 movement on the back of the watch is actually very well decorated. If you take off the NATO style strap, you can see the watch is adorned with a laser printing of what's called a nudie branch, which is basically a sea creature. And they're utilizing one per watch that's indigenous to the specific body of water. And then beneath it is a very nice laser decoration for the actual body of water that's featured on the watch. You have the signature crown guards, the signature crown. The crystal is what Swatch calls a bio-sourced scratch-resistant material. And you'll also find that on the bezel insert. In addition to that, the dial is not only loomed on the markers, but the bezel is also loomed. And you'll also find a tidy 430 date window. Now I'm holding the blue iteration and there are five models in total. So similar to how the Moon Swatch had the celestial bodies, here, we're doing bodies of water. So we have the Atlantic Ocean, as you see here. There's a Pacific Ocean model, which is in a yellow-orange color. There is an Arctic Ocean model, which is in a beige coloration. There's an Antarctic Ocean model, which is a white case and has the saturation scale on it. And the Indian Ocean model is a green watch with orange accents. Now, the Antarctic and the Arctic models both feature applied circular markers, which are separate from the Arabic numerals you see on the Atlantic Ocean iteration. And they both feature the vintage Blanc Pond logo, whereas the Atlantic, the Pacific, and the Indian Ocean each have the modern Blanc Pond logo. You might be wondering why there's no black, and that's because Swatch opted not to use any color it's ever produced on any other bioceramic watch. So all of the bioceramic colors you see in this collection are all brand new colors or brand new shades of colors. But the real question that this really raises is what does this represent? Is this gonna be pandemonium on the level of the Moon Swatch? It's hard to say as this is just being announced today and we know that the watch goes on sale two days from now on September 9th, which is a Saturday. But I think Swatch has really nailed bringing luxury watches into an accessible format. I think the Moon Swatch, which is still at the height of its popularity and say what you will about the monthly moonshine gold launches, but people are still buying them and they're still selling out. So it's creating excitement and hype. Putting Blanc Pond in this package is going to bring the brand closer to a bigger audience and help it gain in popularity, quite frankly, as it should. So the same as the Moon Swatch, this will only be available in Swatch boutiques and you'll need to get in line to buy one on launch day, but these are not limited edition watches, so they will be available after launch day. So if you are trying to get one of these, which retail for just around 400 USD, official pricing to come on that, 
uh, start lining up soon because Saturday is gonna be your chance to get it. And uh, let us know what you think about the new Blanc Pond Swatch Scuba 50 Fathoms.